Hi everyone, it's Hannah here from Cozy Kaylin. I thought I would come back this week um, to kind of kick off my 2017 of YouTube um, and I thought I would come back and do a what I got for Christmas 2016 video. This is the only video that I've actually done twice now, this will be the second time I've done it, I did it last year and I just find it really interesting, I love watching what other people got for Christmas so I just thought I'd share with you some of the things I got. The same as last year, I didn't or I haven't, sorry, picked out everything that I got. I've just picked out the odd few bits and pieces. I haven't done everything that I got from like one person and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I just thought I'd share with you some of the things. Now I do apologise for the lighting in this video. I know I am quite dark and then there's this really weird, really light patch. I've tried to film this video three times. <laughs> this is kind of my final shot. The sun has been directly in front of my window and it's just been moving itself slowly so I've just got to the point now where it's not in my eyes so I can sit and film however it does mean that I'm a little bit darker it's winter in England it's probably not going to get much better for a little while so I just thought I'd go for it so I do apologize for that so I'm going to go with the bits that I've kind of just got stacked up here first so the first thing that I got which is from my brother's girlfriend is the lush snow fairy gift set um but this is just one of the gift boxes it smells oh it smells so good um, obviously it's got snow fairy items in it, so it's got the um, magic wand reusable bubble bar, snow fairy shower gel, snow fairy body conditioner and the father christmas bath bomb. I love baths and relaxing stuff and lush products are just my favourite ones to use. I actually went to London a couple of weeks ago and picked up some of the snow fairy items and I just love them so I'm really glad that I've got this and it just means I can kind of keep everything stocked up which is good. Next is quite a fun one. If you know me or you follow me on um, Twitter, Instagram, anything, you'll know that I love Disney. Um, I'm just a Disney addict. I absolutely love it. And the princesses are kind of my favourite things with that. Now this I wanted before I went to America and then I thought, no, I'll get it from America so it's more special. And I couldn't find it anywhere in any of the American Disney stores that were in Florida. I just could not find it. So I knew I had to put it on my Christmas list. Um, so this is off my brother's girlfriend um, again and my brother as well. And it's this. Yes, I'm that sad that this is what I really wanted. Um, it's basically got all of the Disney princesses as little figurines. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out of the box. And I'm just going to put them on a side somewhere. I do have a few of them from like the Kinder Eggs that were out a couple of years ago. I have them all lined up under my TV. So I might just kind of replace those with these ones. We are planning to move in the new year as well. So... I'll possibly find somewhere for these to go but I just love them it made my I wouldn't even say inner Disney geek it just made my Disney geek happy so I guess I'll stick with the fun things that I got for Christmas and um, so the next one is this pink blanket which is of course a mermaid blanket and um, I love this my friend actually knitted me this I think I am obsessed with the little mermaid she's my favorite Disney princess I'm actually wearing Little Mermaid pyjama bottoms right now, but I'm not going to show you. So yeah, so this is just like amazing, I'm so happy with it. I got a green one as well from my best friend, so these are just so cool. I've got one up here in my bedroom, one downstairs. So yeah, these are just so comfy and they're just so warm and lovely, so I'm really glad that I got two of these for Christmas. Now, one of the things that I got quite a few bits of are um, the Funko vinyl pop figures i think that's the proper name for them but those um i have some you might be able to see them like behind me but quite a few of the disney princesses and then i had like thor and loki and things like that so from marvel um this christmas i asked for some more again just because i like making my collection a bit bigger i think i got about five in total but my favorite one is this one which is an aerial one again i love the little mermaid so this one is just amazing um, this is one of the newer ones that they brought out so it's got she's wearing the pink dress so I just I love it they're just so cute that like just to sit out or keep in the box whatever you want to do with them um, so yeah I really like these and I've got quite a few but this is the one that I wanted to show you now that's kind of it for the fun younger things I guess um, so I'll just go into kind of everything else again now one thing that I got which is from my best friend is a create your own bath bomb set I think this is such a good idea like I mentioned with the lush things I just love 
bath bombs and baths and relaxing and things like that. It's got everything in that you need. If I can open it up one moment. Um, yeah, so it's got like the moulds, um, the citric acid and like sodium and things that you need. Um, the oils and then the smells and things. And it's just so cool. So I can't wait to like spend one of my afternoons off making these and then trying them out. I just think it's a really fun idea. I'll stick with scents and things. Um, so like I mentioned in my video last year, every year my mum buys me a fragrance of some sort. Last year it was Marc Jacobs Daisy, I believe. No, the blue one anyway with the white flowers on. This year I got the Marc Jacobs Daisy little gift set. So this has got like a little purse spray and a refill thing in it, which I think is really cool. I love being able to put little ones in my handbags. I have a couple that I use. So I just really like having the little ones that I can chuck in my bag, take with me and not have to worry about like a huge thing leaking. So this is a really good one that I'm really happy about. So it wouldn't be Christmas if you didn't get some sort of smelly set from Boots or Superdrug or any other kind of chain like that. You have to get one, it's like the rule of Christmas. Um, so this year the big one that I got was the Ted Baker in Full Bloom set. I do believe this one was from Boots and it will be in the sale now if it's something that you're wanting to pick up, I do know that. Um, so this has got many things in. Let's have a look. Oh, if I had a look at the bottom here, it does tell me. Um, so there's a body lotion, a body spray, hand cream, bubble bath, soap and body wash. I've actually got a box under my bed which is full of all the like smelly things that I got this Christmas, apart from the bits that are in this gift set. I just think it's so handy. I'm going to use it now for at least the next six months, if not up to like the next year. I just think that they're so good. It's so worth getting them. And even if you don't get them yourself, like... Or like if people don't buy them for you at Christmas, you can go and buy yourself some in the sales because I know I've done that as well, regardless of the fact that people have bought me some. So I just think they're so worth it. I'm just going to show you the inside. I haven't even seen the inside of it. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It's really nice. The Ted Baker stuff is just so like well made and it looks so pretty that you kind of want it not to be used, just to kind of sit as like a show thing in your bathroom. So makeup wise, I didn't really get anything this year, mainly because I didn't ask for anything. I went shopping just before Christmas and got myself the bits that I wanted from like Charlotte Tilbury and things. So I already had what I wanted and I didn't want other people to be spending their money on things like that when I know I can just buy it myself. So the one thing that I did ask for, for, what for, was the Jouer um, Essential Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette, which is this one. So it's got like the um, leopard print on the side. This was literally the only makeup thing that I asked for, so I'm quite glad that I got it. Um, now if we can get into it. So this is what the box looks like. So it just says UA on the top and it's got the animal print on. There we go. So pretty. And then inside, you get, you're going to see the camera, so I apologise. But you get a massive mirror. And then you get all of these colours which are just so nice. They're like really nice everyday colours. You can mix between the matte and the shimmer. You've got like dark ones in there. So this is like such a good essential palette. Now onto books and items kind of like that. I always ask for at least one book at Christmas. So I always ask for the books that I know I've been wanting for a little while. So there's two that I asked for this year and I got both of them. The first one is Zoe Suggs Girl Online Going Solo. I know that these are raved about a lot, especially by the younger kind of generation. I really, really like it. I love reading younger books. I think it's so much easier to get into the characters and understand kind of what they're doing or like what's happening and how they're feeling about it because you may have been through something similar. Um, I'm 22. I love these books. I think they're so good. The second book that I got is Bloom by Estée Lalonde. Um, Again, another YouTuber, very highly raved about. I really like Esther because she's very personable. She isn't afraid to say what she thinks or to share things or to let you go through things with her. So I just find that, well, I think that this will be a really interesting book to read. I've heard some really good things about it. 
Plus, it's the, so aesthetically pleasing that it's just gorgeous. You just want it sat on your coffee table anyway, so I really like this. Last book type thing I got is this Amelia Lane Paper 2017 Life Designer. Now, my friend Yanni got me this. She probably is watching this, so hi, Yanni. Um, I love this. I love things that I can make lists with and plan my days and plan, we'll just plan everything really. Um, she actually got me this so that I could plan what I want to do on YouTube and in my blog in 2017. So thank you Yanni, if I miss any postings now it is entirely my own fault. But it's just, it's so gorgeous. So she got me this one which is white and blue striped with gold and like gold foiled writing. On the inside it's just, oh it's so nice. Um, you've got like so many different things so as well as it just being a daily plan type thing like months you've got loads of other things so you can plan like um your health out so you can do meal planning for every single day of the year exercise that you're going to do how much water you've drunk there's also a goal section where you can write your list of goals that you want to achieve and um, so you write your goal at the top and then all the different ways that you can achieve it so like the action steps for it and um, i'm going to use that as like a bucket list type area and the things that i want to do in the next year it's just, it's such a nice planner. I really, really like this. So yeah, it's gorgeous. Thank you very much, Jenny. Now, one thing that I got that I absolutely love, it's like one of the littlest things that I got at Christmas, but I love it. And it's from my secret Santa that I got at work. I am the baker of the group at work and the baker of the family, like everything. I just love baking. Um, and what I've always wanted, but I've never actually said to anyone, is a spoon like Zoella's that says, um, I think it says Zoella's Signature Bake or something like that. Um, so when I opened this up, I was really happy. So it's just a wooden spoon, just a mixing spoon. Um, and on the back, it says Hannah's Magic Mixing Spoon. So I don't know if it'll focus. I tell you this camera's autofocus. But anyway, I love this spoon. It's so cute. Now, the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is one that I am very happy about and was not expecting at all. Um, so as you know, I went to Florida in September, it was the first time I'd been to Bath and Body Works and me and my family fell in love with the candles, um, as well as everything else. Um, so when I opened my stocking to find this gem, I was so happy. Um, this is another one from my brother's girlfriend. She's getting a lot of talk about her in this video. She did well. Um, but her parents went to New York last month. Um, so November and I think she put them under strict instructions to get us quite a few candles um, so this is the Vanilla Bean Noel they've done it as a Christmas candle it's got like a fawn on the front it doesn't need to be a Christmas candle it's just so vanilla -y and gorgeous it's just so nice this is going to be um, like an all year round candle I think for me but it's so lovely oh love it this is going to be one of our first parts of calls when we go back to Florida, I think, and it's just amazing. That's everything that I'm going to show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below or tweet me or something and let me know what you got for Christmas yourself um, and if there's anything out of my lot that you either got or wished you had got. Um, I am now going to tidy all of these away because it's been killing me not being able to tidy them away. So that will be sorted now. Um, I hope you have a lovely new year because hopefully this will go up before the new year so I hope you have a lovely new year um, and I will see you in 2017 with hopefully, fingers crossed, lots of new content. Um, we'll just see how it goes but I'll see you then. Have a lovely new year. Bye!